I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up, guys? Average Sniper here, today bringing you the first episode of my Road to Max Rank series. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to customize my scout class. I'm using a different uh, gamer tag. Let's see here. Let's get the chevron reticle, because you can't go wrong with that. Take the bayonet off, because that slows down your gun. And uh, let's see if I can put another pistol on. Uh, from our oh, I don't... <laughs> yeah, obviously I don't have enough... I haven't made any money yet, any war bonds, so I can't really change any of my equipment except the equipment that's already unlocked. So I'm going to put the tripwire bomb on, and I can't do... Oh, yeah, I'll leave that the same. Oh, I got the shovel. Let's put the... Uh, Let's put the shovel on here. Okay, so first match, starting out with a new screen name for Road to Max Rank. Going to spawn in to this match that is started with the SMLE Mark III, with the um, Marksman, with the uh, Chevron Reticle, and secondary M1911. And let me see if I can join a squad here, because I seem to be by myself. You know, I think my friend, I'm pretty sure I joined on my friend, but I think he's on the other team, so maybe uh maybe I should just kill him. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is Monte Grappa. Oh man, I missed that guy. And um I don't I don't really like this map too much. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's it's a it's a decent map. I just don't like it that much because you either have the snipers camping on the hill or you have too much like close quarters combat guys appearing out from behind rocks. I don't do too bad on this map. It's just not my favorite one. So ironic that it would be the first map for this series. Also, this series isn't going to be 100% like good games. This is just going to be raw gameplay regardless of how good it is. So I don't even know how good I'm going to do on this match right here but I am gonna try and help my team as much as possible uh, get through this door down here that appears to be locked <laughs> I'm gonna help my team as much as possible try to capture objectives without being stupid and just running in I'm also gonna try and get as many kills as I can with the sniper rifle and um, oh, fortress gun and I'm also going to try and use some different uh, different kits while I do this series so not only will I be sniping, but I'll also be using the assault, medic, and support kit for uh, some of the different videos. But this one, I figured I have to start with the scout, you know, because that's just what I do. Things, things are getting crazy down there. Things are getting crazy down there. I'm pretty su sure there was a sentry guy, and now there's fire and smoke and all kinds of stuff going on. So hopefully we can capture this objective. Sometimes in Conquest, it's not all about the kills. It's, well, it's never about the kills in Conquest. It's about capturing the objectives and defending the objectives that you capture. So I'm probably just saying that because I'm scared I'm not going to get any kills this match. All right, here, uh-oh. Oh, there's the first kill. Never mind. And, oh, there's the second kill. Sweet, promoted. <laughs> Double quick scope to get promoted. Well, I guess those weren't really quick scopes, but you know what I mean. So this SMLE Mark III sniper rifle is a beast. I believe it has a sweet spot between four... Oh, God. Oh, God, I missed that guy so many times. I believe it has a sweet... Oh, there's the first death. There's the first death. Well, we got a 2.0 kill-death ratio so far. Two kills, one death. I'm happy with that. Never happy to die, though. <laughs> Um, like I was saying, the SMLE Mark III has a sweet spot, I believe, between 40 and 80 meters, if my memory serves me correctly. So if you hit him in the upper chest within that range, you should get a one-shot kill. So it is a pretty beast gun. I think the only gun with a better sweet spot would probably be the Martini Henry, which is a breech-loading gun and can do uh, one-shot kills from the stomach up between uh, 30 and 80 meters. So it's much more forgiving. Oh, hit marker. 99. Don't you hate it when you get a hit marker for 99? Let's see if we can finish this guy off. Oh, he is running. Oh, we got him. Sweet. <laughs> oh, man. I hate it when they uh, when they just start running. I love it when they go prone. When you're sniping at somebody and they go prone, it's like, thank you, God. Now I can just get a headshot on this guy. It's so easy to headshot the guys that go prone. All right. We got a camper out here in the mountains. Uh, tank right here. 
I guess uh, I can help with the Charlie capture. It's like my squad leader isn't marking any objectives, so I'll request an order. If your squad leader isn't marking objectives, you can request an order, and that will make you the squad leader if he doesn't mark any objectives within, I think, the next minute. Okay. I guess I thought the tank got blown up, but I guess I just got killed out of the tank by a plane. Interesting. Yeah, you can get killed out of the tank by artillery. I've never seen anybody snipe anyone through the little tank windows, though. I don't think that's possible, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Because I've never seen it happen before, and on my main class, I'm rank 92, so... I've seen a lot of shit. You know? <laughs> oh, God, can we hit this guy? Look at him. These are the hardest... There we go. Those are the hardest targets to hit. The guys that have unpredictable movement. If they're standing still easy. If they're moving in a straight line, regardless of whether they're running, crouching, or walking, easy. If they're moving back and forth and you can't predict whether they're going to go right, left, forward, or back, and they're far away, even if they're close, hard. <laughs> that, I swear, that is hard mode. Oh, we got another kill. So this isn't going so bad. If you guys are wondering about the reticle I chose, check out some of the recent videos on my channel about the different reticles. I reviewed the well, I obviously reviewed the um, crosshair reticles because I use those the most, used to use those the most, but then I tried the beam, post, and chevron reticles, and I liked them all. But I go in-depth with my reviews on uh, the videos on my channel if you're interested. Oh, guy on a bike. And that's a tank. Okay, still got this guy on a bike. Hit marker, and dead. And dead. Okay, cool. So, this isn't going too bad for the first game of Road to Max Rank. Not bad at all. I'm trying to play cautious because I'm so nervous right now. Like, I don't want to have a horrible game for the first match or the first episode of Road to Max Rank. I'm not even sure if, uh, if you guys will like this that much, but I hardly ever... Oh, God. Oh, man. I hardly ever upload, like, full, unedited gameplays because usually when I upload a video, I'm making a point. So I just, you know, clip out the parts of that gameplay that were good or the parts where I'm showing the reticle I'm talking about or the specific thing that I'm talking about. But this is just going to be raw, unedited. You have to wait for the spawn screen gameplay. So get used to it. <laughs> All right, Cap... Capping Edward, and there's no enemies on the objective. If you look at the where it says I'm capturing objective Edward in that little square, right above where it says Lucas. Oh, right above where it says Lucas Cottage. If there's any enemies on the objective, you'll get a little bar that uh, shows blue and red, and it shows the ratio of good to bad. Blue being good and red being bad. If there's any enemies on the objective. If there's no enemies on the objective, like there wasn't right there, then you won't see any kind of indicator. Alright, so we're doing pretty decent with the sniping here. Missing out on some one-shot kills and headshots, but that's okay. We're still getting the kills. Oh, look at these campers. Took that guy out. What's his buddy getting? Oh, missed him. Jeez. Aim just a little too high. There, oh, there we go. I love it. Love it when they go prone. It's just like super easy kills. Not that I don't like a challenge, but sometimes I just like getting the kills. Oh, what are you doing, bud? Oh, he's hiding behind that rock. Is he here? Here's the <laughs> the Jeopardy question. Is he ever? going to come out from behind the rock. Blew his health pack up, so now he can't heal himself. I think he's I think he's going to take up residence behind that rock. He's he's not coming out from behind the rock. He wants to stay there and live there. Come on, guy. Whatever. Probably one of the worst things you can do when they hide like that is just run and attack them with no strategy. Either wait for them to come out or run a flank. And if you're running a flank, you need to be sure that they're still hiding behind that rock or whatever cover they hid behind. Because the last thing you want to do is just make a straight beeline for them because that's what they'll expect you to do. That's what most people would do. 
and uh, if you run a flank, you know, you can sneak up on him, or if you just wait for him to come out, you can snipe him, but I don't even know if the guy's behind the rock anymore. Maybe I've already killed him, and that was the guy I killed last, so let's just get out of here. Alright, so we have two objectives, Apples and Charlie, and we are doing, our, my team is doing awful right now. I haven't noticed if they've called the blimp in or not, but I don't see I don't see anything indicating that we have an airship yet, so hopefully we get that soon because we are losing bad. But just because your team's doing bad doesn't mean you can't have, you know, strategy. Up oh, there we go, got that guy. So this game, I mean, it's going pretty well for me. I don't know about the rest of my team. It's not amazing or anything so far, but it is decent for sure. Oh, I'll run out of bullets. Was not paying attention there. I have a feeling the first episode is going to be a loss, unless my team can concoct some kind of strategy for a serious comeback. Oh man. Oh, this is, I hate these kind of sniper battles. They stand still for a second and then they move. Come on, guy. Oh, got him. Hit marker. Oh, finished him. Yeah, he. Oh, promoted. That's rank two, guys. So we've gone up two ranks in this first game. What an achievement. Just kidding. It's so easy to go from rank one to rank two. But uh, that's good. Two, rank, two ranks in one match. So far, so good. I'm a little little hesitant about running straight on to the objective so I'm just kind of sneaking sneaking towards it making my way up oh, here's a guy hit marker oh he got killed no kill assist just a regular assist oh I was gonna check the underground but random oh that's my buddy <laughs> GKYA shot killed me that's my buddy that was on the other team that I joined on his game. I don't think this game was uh, very far in when I joined, so we should get a full match out of this. I think it was only like 50 points in when I joined, so it's basically like a brand new game. There he is again. I bet that's him. Oh man, he loves to fly the planes and bomb people. I suck at flying planes. If you guys have any tips, leave them in the comments, because... I've been practicing, but every time I put the plane in the air, it seems like I just get shot down immediately. I can fly the thing really good, but I can't... Um, it's really hard for me to shoot other planes down and such. I can shoot infantry and drop bombs, but shooting other planes is my biggest biggest problem. It seems like every time I want to learn how to do it, I get into a match with a pilot that's much more experienced than me. And it's not like learning to... Oh, hold on. Jeez, hit marker. It's not like learning to snipe, where you can just keep trying over and over again. If you kill the plane, you got to wait for another one to spawn in or wait your turn again. So it's kind of difficult, and I can't go into a. Oh god, come on! I can't go into a private match and practice because there's really no one to fight with. I can just practice my flying technique. So, any tips on how to shoot down pilots with another plane would be appreciated because I suck at that. But I'm mostly uh, infantry anyway, so that's fine. Apparently we took their artillery truck, probably because they got it stuck. There's another plane. Up oh, there's a sentry. Oh, yes, we killed the sentry. He must have been hurt pretty bad. It's a nice 200-some points rate. Oh, assist counts as kill. Oh, there's a guy right there. Too many explosions right now. Oh, got another one. This is going... This is going swimmingly. Hit marker. Kill. Sweet. Rarely do I get kills from this hill, because that's usually what happens. Where did that guy come from? I thought I was, like, 
with my team. Don't you guys hate it when you you're with your squad and you you're just you know paying attention to the one direction where all the enemies are and you just turn around to reload or, or turn around to do something and all of a sudden there's an enemy bayonet charging you or knifing you or something. It's like bro, where did he come from and how did my teammates yeah. let him get through? Unless I'm the idiot and didn't realize that my squad had moved on and I'm the only one standing there still shooting. But seriously, sometimes it's like these guys just come out of nowhere. I'm telling you. I have another... Oh, that sucked. Oh, there's our uh, friendly behemoth. Well, it only... Let's see what the score is. 469 to 594. It took long enough to give it to us. We've been less than 100 points for a while now. Stuck on butter over here. We need to get this objective keep getting killed every time I get too close though. Okay. Oh, headshot. Sweet. Oh, okay. That's a bush. If I have time, I will go for the headshots every time, but sometimes, you know, you're dealing with multiple enemies, you just go for whatever shot you can take. And that's all she wrote. Uh oh, behind me. Uh, how did they... See, how are they getting behind me? Sweet. That guy was already wounded. Up. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> yep. See, they're behind me somehow. This is why this is why it's important to play with your squad. I mean, you can play the objective as much as you want, but if your squad is not supporting you and running with you, you're just going to have a bad time. Light tank. All my teammates here don't really want to be in that little alleyway. That's a perfect place for someone to throw a grenade or noob tube or something and kill us all in one shot. Be close to your squad, but don't be stupid with them. Don't all be in the same spot or the same doorway where you can get killed by uh, one piece of artillery. You do not want that. Alright, this guy's messing me up. Oh my god, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> and, oh man, we were actually capturing butter and now I'm dead. From a guy that was right behind me. So these guys are flanking a lot. I'm getting killed by a lot of flanks here. And I can't spawn back on butter. I have no squad mates. But I can spawn on the blimp. Sweet. I rarely use this this uh, airship gun, but sometimes it can be pretty fun. But now people know that they can shoot people out of the little baskets, the gondolas, whatever they are here. So I'll get as many. I'll try and get as many kills as I can from here but if these guys know what they're doing and it seems like they do they'll probably be shooting the gunners right out of the baskets here and they're already the, the airship is already at half health so I know that oh what did I say there's the fortress gun you guys can you don't have to use a fortress gun to shoot people out of airships you can do it with sniper rifles I've used a pistol before I've, I've wounded a guy with my sniper rifle and finished him off with a pistol ground air to the gondola you can shoot through the bottom of those things and we're falling off the airship I spawned on top the a guy that was on the airship and it spawned me too far to the side to the edge of it and I fell off could not control it and it looks like the people are falling off the airship <laughs> random bodies just falling through the air yep that airship's not gonna last long these guys know what they're doing there's a basket falling off or an engine or something jeez yeah that thing is that thing is coming down Maybe the guy that's driving it shouldn't have flown it so close to this hill where it's super easy for people to to attack it. All this anti-air guns and infantry. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, yes. See, there was a sweet spot kill right there. A hundred hit, and it wasn't a headshot. Looked like the upper shoulder, but that's that's all upper chest if you hit center mass. The bullet will just go through. Oh, that was a miss. Return to the combat area. We have taken objective Edward. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna get me. Nope, I got him. See, I should just I should be more positive about this stuff. <laughs> The 1911 is definitely not my favorite pistol, though, so... I'm glad that worked out. Oh, assist counts as kill. The 1911 again. Alright, what are we doing? I don't know, I'm just kind of running here. And that's what happens. That is exactly what happens when you are not sure what you're doing, but you're just running. But sometimes you just can't stand still. You just You just have to move, you know? I thought about it. I thought about getting in the plane for a second, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't want to show you guys how bad I am with the plane just yet. Okay, I thought that would be a headshot, but apparently not. There we go. Assist counts as kill. Oh, there we go. Another kill. Sweet. This is my first game of the day, so I am a little rusty right here. Sometimes it takes me a game or two before I get warmed up, but I think this is going to be a good day because I'm already feeling it. I've already got a lot of kills, and I'm not unhappy with this game. I'm unhappy that we're losing, but I'm not unhappy with my performance so far. Where did that guy go? I hope my teammate killed him. Maybe I should turn the kill feed on. I never really liked the kill feed because I feel like... oh. Oh, God. I only needed one more hit on him. I never really liked the kill feed because it kind of distracts me, but it is useful, I guess, to know if your friendly killed an enemy that's close to you if you're not sure whether he got killed or not. I know there's skulls on the map for your friendlies, but I, I don't think there's skulls on the map for the enemies. I'm not sure. I'll have to pay attention and see. Oh, I also have my mini-map size up to about 140% here. Any bigger than that, and I feel like it starts obstructing my view. I don't like uh, having a HUD that obstructs my view. Okay, we have Charlie and we have Apples. No, we don't even have Charlie. We're capturing Charlie, and we're losing Apples, and they have all the other objectives, so... Oh my god, this guy just walk through an incendiary. He gets the support kit and walks through an incendiary. It doesn't make you invincible, guy. Jeez. I never use the HE. I'm only using it because I, I prefer the incendiary trip bomb because you get two and because it can do 100 damage if they hit it just the right way. I don't like the HE because I don't think it does enough damage. But let's see if we can get Duff. Love it when they funnel through. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, hit him in the leg. 63. I assisted with that kill. I assisted you. We got the conquest capture. All right. Yeah. There's another guy. Hit him in the leg again. Kill assist. It's 63. I'm assisting with these kills. That's important, guys. You know, it's it might not be a kill, and it might not be a lot of points, but doing 63 damage to an enemy, especially when you're defending an objective you just captured, is going to help your team a lot, especially if they're already shooting at these guys. I mean, it's all about teamwork. We both work to kill those guys, and we both save the objective from possibly getting captured. So, you know, that's how I justify getting a kill assist instead of a kill. <laughs> Sorry. I just laugh at myself sometimes. All right, Edward. Looks like we're working on capping Edward, but the progress is slow, so let's see if I can help out with that a little bit. And what is going on at Edward? Oh, we've got to... See, there's the blue and red ratio bar right there. And... Now the the enemy oh he's back on see when he's on the objective you can see the red and if there's one of you and one of them it'll be 50 50 otherwise you just have to estimate it if there's up oh, there he is another another assist <laughs> all right we need to stop getting assists and start getting some kills now and of course I totally missed that enemy hit I bet it's another assist yep another assist so that's uh four kills so far I've missed out on because I suck. <laughs> All right. So hopefully those guys can finish off Edward, but nope. 
Well, maybe. I don't know why they're having so much of a problem with Edward over there, but I'm here at Duff now, so we're going to keep it like that. All right, got that kill. And there was way too many guys right there. Now it doesn't really matter what we do. The score is 938 to 788. And <laughs> not trying to be negative here, but I don't think we could come back <laughs> no matter what. Unless these guys decide to strategically capture all the objectives at once, which I don't think is going to happen. So uh, we'll just continue playing until the game is over. Don't rage quit. Oh, assist counts as kill. Finally, finally got an assist large enough to count as a kill. It's been pretty slow for a few minutes here. I I so want to run straight onto the objective, but I know. Up oh, sniper out there, and he's running. He got hit. He said, "I'm out of here. I've been camping here the whole game, and somebody finally saw me and got a hit marker, and now I'm leaving." Oh God. Oh, oh just, yes. Yes! Finally! Finally got another kill. <laughs> Where did this guy go? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, melee fight. They all, they overran us. Alright, what's the score now? We can still come back, guys. It's only 833 to 982. We got this. Okay, hit marker. And how was that an assist? I thought I hit him for 90. I don't know, maybe I read that wrong. Oh, sweet, headshot. Well, that'll probably be the last kill since the match is over in like seconds here. Shoot a couple times for up, oh, it's over. So <laughs> There's the first episode. We got defeated. Let's see how I did though. 33 and 16. 11,973 points. Team player right there. Tried to help my team capture as many objectives as possible uh, without being stupid about it. And uh, we still lost, but I feel like I helped my team a lot. And that, that was a not too long of a game. Most conquest matches are somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. So that was pretty average. Uh, let's see. I did make it onto the highlights. Cthulhu Snuggles is the name I'm using. Uh, scout score 11,973, obviously, because I used the scout class the whole time. So I had the highest sniper score in the game, so that's good. Uh, let's check the squad stats. Um, my squad had a 1.21 KD, 95 kills, 78 deaths, and I had the most flags captured. All right, personal uh, kill death ratio 2.06, 33 kills. That's good. And let's see the scoreboard one more time. Second place on my team. Only second to Sir Snipes a lot, 61. Who probably wasn't sniping because he didn't get the best scout score. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next episode. Later.